Well, I've got some good news. Um, I've got some LED chips from China. They arrived the other day. And as you can tell from the colouring on these uh, chips, uh, this one is the cool white, and these two are warm white. Now, I ordered one cool and one warm white in 80 watt. And I ordered one 100 watt warm white. So, which one's which? Well, I can't really make sense. These two, of which there is the cool white and the warm white, have the number 0707 and the same SKU number. And this one has a sticker on the back and it's a different number entirely. So I'm guessing that might be the 100 watt, 100 watt warm white. Oops, but I can't tell. I, I can't tell which one's which. So we're going to take a guess. I'm going to go with this warm white one here, which I think is the 80 watt one. Uh, so we're just going to uh, use that one for now, just to see if it definitely is that. Otherwise, I've just spent uh, 12 pound on, on chips that I can't use. So, I've already taken the screws out the top. Uh, this has been sitting in the garden since uh, I first took it apart. So, uh, it didn't have all the screws in the top or the bottom, so good to see that no water has actually got in. Probably going to speed it up until I get to the bottom of this. Right, so it is it's in for all purposes. Um, I'm just going to use a bit, a little bit of uh, this flux, just to get a good connection on here. Then we're going to give it a little bit of solder. Should really get one of them soldering uh, fume extractors. Starting to get to me a bit when I solder quite a bit. I feel a bit dull on the next day, kind of thing. Um, so, what we got? Got two bits of wire. None of them are marked. Right, okay. That'll do it. Uh, I can't really see much in here, the light is a bit naff. So that is the positive side, I think, yes. Thread that through there. Connect that onto the driver. 
I can't remember why I disconnected it last time. Must have had some reason for it. Um, well, oh, I drove it from something else, didn't I? It didn't work. That's all right. Well, that's one. Uh, I've got my trusty lithium iron phosphate pack powering my 12 volt soldering iron. Uh, oh, that hasn't gone too well. Better, that do. Right, that do for this test anyway. So, I bought three because I thought I'd uh, give it a go on the warm and the uh, cool white. You never can tell when you get a cool white LED whether it's going to be blue. So, as they're from China, I thought I would uh, give it a go. And I also went for the 100 watt LED to see if, uh, obviously, if, if the uh, 80 watt LED didn't last, whether if I put a 100 watt LED in, it would last a bit longer. And also, because I want to see if there's a difference in lumen output with my light meter at say a distance of maybe a meter or two meters just for control purposes whether if I put a 100 watt LED chip in there'd be a um, equal output or lower output just to see I'm curious so that's in I'm going to tuck that in there but I don't like the way it's mounted I'm going to leave that off for the minute. Um, and I have just realised I have made a, a, a mistake. I cut the flex off last time. So I've got to go and find a plug. <laughs> right, okay. So much for doing this in one take. I'll be back in a bit. Plug top with 3 amp fuse. White flex. Let's give it a finger tight. And let's see what happens. It's noisy. It's very noisy. It's also very bright. They did say it was very noisy. But it's definitely bright. Now I'm just going to turn off the uh, main light. It's not a bad light. I wouldn't say it's warm white, but it's certainly bright. I mean, you can hear the noise coming from it. It certainly works. So, I don't know. Uh, I hazard to guess that the driver is on its way out. I don't think you should be singing like that. So I'm going to, I'm going to turn the main back, light back on. And unplug this thing. Let's bring you back in. Ooh. Can't see much at the moment. It's definitely stone cold. Um, let's have a look inside here. So we know it works. But we know the driver's noisy. So, would it be worth getting a driver to replace this? Well, all depends on cost, I guess. But for argument's sake, it works. I 
can't see. There we go. Let's put some heat pads on the back. Or is that stuff it made contact? I don't know. Um, I want to see what's making the noise. Let's put that over the top so it's blind me and the camera. Let's plug it back in and see if I can see what makes the noise. I think it's that one there making the noise. Nothing I'd do about it. So I guess uh, I'll go back to eBay and see if we can get a driver unit. Might be the easiest option. So yeah. That's what I'll do. I'm just going to put this back together. Um, Let's go and test it out in the garden, and then that will be it. I'll get another driver, replace this off screen, and then we can have a play with the other LED um, chips and see what difference that makes. Yeah, okay then, I'll see you shortly. Right, so I'm just going to do a quick test. It's dark. Um, I'm not going to do a long test because uh, obviously it's, it's late. Um, this is the outside lights uh, with the lights down the side this is with them off and this is with the main outside light off and this is with the floodlight Try and bring the floodlight a bit closer, but it tends to leave a bit short. So that would certainly light up the entire garden there. and probably everyone else's. So I think that will do for this test. Um, please subscribe, comment, and rate. And don't forget to, uh, to uh, like the Shedlin Productions Facebook page, and I'll start adding more con content to that uh, as and when I get time. See you later.